last night and I said, hey, we need to wear our derby dresses. Yes. And you said, what is that? What's a derby dress? What's a derby dress? Yeah. And you're not from the South, so you wouldn't know. Mm -mm. So uh, I guess in the Southwest, they don't have this kind of stuff. I mean, not really, no. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So the derby really is the, you know, the chance to showcase the finest in spring fashions for men and for women. Okay. So you, you just pull out all the stops for your apparel. So for the ladies, the Kentucky Derby is a chance for every female to express her inner Southern belle. Mm. So take note and don't hold back when planning your Kentucky Derby wardrobe. So these ladies look wonderful. The recommended practice is to keep it simple so it doesn't take away from your hat. Okay. And you can also let the color and excitement of spring inspire you and select a dress full of color or floral or equine patterns, which okay. is kind of cute. Yes. Um, as for the hats, they say from the fantastic to the sublime, there are no rules or limits when it comes to choosing your derby hat. So ours came from shades of color, as we yes. mentioned, and we added some flowers to yes. it. Because really, there's there are no rules. Go like Well, now the, I wish I would have gone more crazy. Right. The crazier, the better. Okay, That's I like that. That's what it's that. all about. Okay? okay. So for the men, and the men can get on, on, the, on the fun, right? Mm -hmm. The Kentucky Derby provides a splendid excuse for men to get just as dressed up and decked out as the ladies. So the modern derby man possesses an unparalleled color palette. So these guys are just a perfect example. Yeah. Tropical colors and bold stripes or busy plaid and bright pastels steal the limelight. Although if you want a more polished look, classic navy or a seersucker blazer is always in style. We were talking about the seersucker suits. Yeah. And you were asking what that was, the tiny pinstripe the blue and white. Oh yes, okay. It's the seersucker look with the bow tie typically. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's really fun. classy. Yeah. yeah. All right, well we love celebrating special occasions around here and we have found there is no better way to learn about something than to challenge ourselves to a bit of trivia. Yes. So for Fun Fact Friday, we are going to team up and take on some Derby Day trivia. All okay. right, you ready for this? Yes. <laughs> are you ready? I'm nervous. We have not seen these questions. No. Okay, so first up, how many mint juleps are consumed at Churchill Downs each year? Oh, it's multiple choice. Okay. 75,000, 90,000, or 120,000. What's your guess? What do you think? 75,000. Oh, I'd go more. I'm you gonna, would? I'm going to go 90. Okay. Okay. And the answer is 120? Oh, what? Wow. My goodness. Okay. Next question. There have been 19 winning horses in the Kentucky Derby. Whose names have started with the same letter? What? Letter is it? Ooh. No multiple choice. Well, I guess our multiple choice are 26 of them. So uh, <laughs> we got 26 options. I'm gonna say R. S. 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 Stands for speed. I, I was love thinking it. R for racing. Okay. Okay. And then the fastest horse in Derby history was Secretariat in 1973. S. <laughs> uh, who finished in 0.6 seconds under two minutes. Uh, how many other horses in Derby history have crossed the finish line in under two minutes? No, no multiple choice on how that one. How many horses have crossed the finish line? Oh, ooh. I'm going to say zero. I'm going to say two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, get me a horsey. Good All job. Right. Okay, okay, how many female jockeys have ridden in the Kentucky Derby? Ooh. Four, six, or eight? I know it's not many. I want to say four. Yeah, I would say four too. Oh, six. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Last one. The Kentucky Derby is called the Run for the Roses because the winning horse and jockey are draped in a rose blanket after the race. How many roses are in that blanket? Ooh, there's a lot. I, 800. I'm going to say 800 as well. Yes, 800? There's got to be 800. No, 400. 400. Boo. All right. Well, okay, okay. that was fun. That I was thought fun. we did pretty good, actually. Yeah, Better than we usually do. <laughs> so this is pretty interesting. A popular new show on Netflix is creating controversy. The heavy content from 13 Reasons Why has many schools cautioning parents about the series. The show, based on a young adult novel, follows the journey of Hannah, explaining her suicide through a series of audio tapes she leaves behind. Many experts are concerned students will identify too strongly with the show's main character. That's part of the concern about the glamorization of suicide, that somehow if you end your life that you're going to be able to exact your revenge, you're going to be able to have an effect on people from beyond the grave. So psychologists say parents should talk to their child about the show and mental distress, and if they decide to watch, they should do it together. 
So okay, I've seen this the show. Okay, this is the first I'm hearing about it. Okay, yeah, what, tell me about um, it. It is about this high schooler named Hannah. Mm -hmm. She commits suicide and she leaves a series of tapes behind and there are 13 tapes for her 13 reasons or people why she, uh, oh. for why she committed suicide. Okay. And it is intense and um, it is things that high schoolers actually face. Uh -huh. And so I, I don't think that it was uh, glamorizing suicide. Uh -huh. um, Do you think it was doing the opposite, maybe educating? I think so. I mean, and, and if you watch it all the way through, like if you're thinking that, I mm -hmm. would f completely finish the series before, before judging it. Because the yeah. last episode oh. kind of is like the wrap up for kind of the lesson that we should kind of take away and uh -huh. how we should treat people right. with respect. And it's, it is intense, but I don't know. I, well, it's, it's things that high schoolers know, like they, it's yes. what they're actually experiencing. And I do so. think that we need to have the discussion. Yeah. We need to talk about it because mm -hmm. it's obviously a problem. So, yeah. you know, I'll have to check that out. You should. All right. Yeah.